mentioned Govan today and you think industry. It was one of the great industrial centres of the world, especially for shipbuilding. In fact, it was an independent borough as well for a long, long time until Glasgow swallowed up in 1912. It was, in fact, the fifth biggest borough in Scotland in its own right. But travel back a thousand years and you'd find yourself in a very different place, a much more important place. It used to be thought that when the Roman Empire collapses, it leaves all these power vacuums. Gradually over time, tribes come together and eventually those coalesce into kingdoms. All these kingdoms, after many hundreds of years of forming allegiances and then falling out and going to war and playing off each other, eventually all kind of coalesced into one single kingdom, Scotland. This was a time before modern Scotland had developed. On the west coast, you had the Gaelic-speaking Dalriada. On the east coast, we had the, the Pictish Kingdom. Well, we're not exactly sure what language they spoke there, but right in the middle, right where we're standing here, was the Kingdom of Strathclyde. Yes, Govan, I don't mean Glasgow, I mean Govan, right here, capital of the Kingdom of Strathclyde. The Kingdom of Strathclyde was just that. It was the kingdom in the Strath or the valley of the River Clyde. It stretched as far north as the top of Loch Lomond, down the Ayrshire coast, and at one point even as far down as the English borders. We've got a couple of images here oh, from, wonderful. from Govan. Um, oh, both taken from the same spot, the look of it yeah, as well. Yeah, almost. This photograph here is from the 1930s, so if we skip back in time a thousand yes, years. This, this is absolutely astonishing. Yeah, so this is Govan around a thousand AD. Oh, gods. We're looking from above towards Partick on this side of the river. Yeah, this is Clyde yes. and then the River Kelvin coming down Winding to meet it. Down, yeah. So this is the Doomster Hill. The famous Doomster the Hill. The famous Doomster Hill. God, it was big, wasn't it? Yeah, well, about, um, there's descriptions of it in the new statistical accounts from the 1840s, and the mm -hmm. minister at Govan uh, gave dimensions for it. It was about uh, five metres high, just over five metres high, and about 45 metres in diameter. So this is a big, big structure. Yeah. The Clyde's pretty shallow at this point. The yeah. Kelvin comes down and, and dumps a load of silt when it right. hits the Clyde and it all banks up here. So right. you could just scuttle over. It's a, it's a very strategic point, really. And there's there's a there's a connection here. Yeah, so that's where they, you walked from the church to Doomster and back again. Yeah. Wow. And the current churchyard wall pretty much sits exactly on the bank. Still on the same thing? Yeah, so you... Isn't that, that incredible? It is. It's, a, it's an amazing wow. kind of continuity, really. This is a kind of complete power centre. That's fantastic, isn't so it? So yeah. you have your um, your royal palace, palace yes. and your church, yes. and your ceremonial site. And, and meanwhile, up in Glasgow? Hee-haw. Hee-haw, yes, <laughs> ah, yes. So poor old Glasgow, yeah. it is. So Govan is not much older. older. It's an incredibly rich, mm -hmm. dense place in yeah. terms of its kind of history and yeah. heritage.